Ми вже в там в городі. Збили, диви! Падає, йобана в рот, а куди він впаде? Диви, щоб не шахеда збили. Збили шахеда, кум. Я даже в... On the 5th of October, Russia shot down their own S-70 Okotnik Hunter uncrewed combat aerial vehicle as it flew west over the front lines. The loss of this sophisticated and expensive asset could provide valuable intelligence to Ukraine and its allies about Russian drone technology, thus leading to efforts countering these types of drones in the future. As reported by the UK Ministry of Defence, it is likely that Russia lost control of the uncrewed combat aerial vehicle and took the decision to destroy the aircraft to avoid it falling into the hands of Ukrainian forces. A Sukhoi Enterprise, the S-70 has been in development for at least a decade, having been observed testing at Russia's Aktubinsk airbase. A key attribute of the S-70 is its reduced radar cross-section, which is intended to make it a stealth deep strike asset potentially capable of penetrating adversary radar and air defense coverage. The system is purported to be able to operate jointly with the Su-57 Felon fighter. It is likely Russia waited to the last moment before choosing to engage the uncrewed combat aerial vehicle having exhausted attempts to bring it back under control. This demonstrates yet another expensive and embarrassing failure of Russian weapons development and will almost certainly delay the S-70 program. British military analysts note, ultimately the S-70 Okotnik crashed in Ukraine-controlled Kostyantinivka just 16 kilometers from the front line with its remnants recovered by Ukrainian forces. Additionally, reports have been made that the S-70 Okotnik B lost control and was shot down by a Russian fighter jet. The plane that was catching up with the second one was flying on two jet engines and the one that went down was flying on one and had the full tanks, said the Ukrainian military. This could explain its appearance behind the front line and the hasty actions of the fighter jet, which launched an air-to-air -air missile at the already uncontrolled drone. The Okotnik program has been under development at the Russian Sukhoi Design Bureau since 2011. According to the developer's plan, the UCAV will be used to strike the enemy targets without entering the area of operation of its air defense systems of the manned aircraft. The vehicle will be able to carry missiles and air bombs with a total weight of up to 2.8 tons in its internal weapons compartments. Its length is 14 meters, wingspan is 19 meters, and takeoff weight is over 20 tons. Vladimir Putin has no health problems and his regular checkups at the Central Clinical Hospital are just a standard examination. Dmitry Peskov, the press secretary of the head of state, said this in an interview with TASS. Absolutely, we are talking about regular dispensarizations, he said in response to a related question. At a meeting with the government, Putin mentioned that he regularly undergoes medical checkups at a central clinic hospital. He said this in the context of discussing the seasonal flu vaccination being conducted across the country. The head of the Russian Federation noted that doctors at the Central Clinical Hospital recommended using domestic drugs for vaccination. In the spring of 2023, Captain Gleb Karakulov of the Federal Guard Service, who has left Russia, said in an interview with the Dossier Center that Putin was treated at the Central Clinical Hospital in April 2022 after Ukraine refused to surrender and the Russian army was forced to retreat from Kiev. Karakulov also noted that Putin undergoes regular medical checkups, and once the pandemic begins, everyone working with him must be quarantined and given PCR tests almost several times a day. In addition to his health, 
Putin, according to Karakulov, is worried about his safety. For example, during his trip to the summit in Kazakhstan in 2022, Putin insisted on installing special communications in a bomb shelter rather than in his office or meeting room, as he had done previously. The Federal Guard Service officer explains this as a manifestation of paranoia. He also noted that Putin always takes with him on foreign trips an intercom cabin, a special 2.5-meter high cube from which secure telephone conversations can be conducted. The British tabloid The Daily Mirror, citing a source in the FSB, previously reported that Putin allegedly has a severe form of rapidly progressing cancer. He suffers from loss of vision, headaches, and trembling in his hands. Similar information appeared in an article by New Lines magazine in which an unnamed Russian oligarch claimed that the president has serious health problems related to blood cancer.